Water is life and we see it everywhere, as rivers, as lakes, as rain, as oceans and everything else. There has always been a way to simulate water in Blender as early as Blender 2.4, but it has not changed that much. You have a domain cube to contain the simulation, a fluid emitter or inflow and an obstacle to collide with water, and a bake button. It's a simple setup, but most of the time it's not enough. Baking fluids can take hours if not days and the final mesh can be millions of polygons which becomes a bottleneck for most computers under $2000. So over the years artists and developers have come together to make better options for making and rendering water in Blender and today let's look at some of those options. A fairly new add-on, Curve Fluids bypasses the baking process of fluids and opts for a more real-time way of what you see is what you get. This add-on is geometry nodes best and lets you draw a path for the fluids. It supports collisions with other objects. Obviously, being real-time and geometry nodes, its results are nowhere close to physically accurate simulations, but it provides a quick alternative for someone looking for a simple and quick fluid render. Since most renders are just still images, sometimes what you want is just a body of high quality looking water in the background or the foreground of your render. Real time water add-on is a collection of meshes and shaders that give you the best looking water which you can just drag and drop into your project. The water has form, caustics and can look deep. And if you want to create animations, as long as you don't expect splashes and ocean waves, then the real water add-on is going to be enough for what you're looking for. When Blender introduced Matterflow, we expected an overhaul of the simulation system and how we do simulations in Blender. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Matterflow was still a major upgrade for the Blender simulation system and I believe it is somewhat underappreciated because of its usability. Therefore, Flip Fluids is still the best option for simulating physically accurate fluids in Blender because on top of Matterflow's strength, Flip Fluids brings usability that lacks in Matterflow and other ways to control and direct fluids. While no trick is going to beat the quality of simulating fluids using physically accurate solvers like Matterflow or Flip Fluids, alternative real-time fluid solvers like Cell Fluids will give you the next best thing at the fraction of time and computation power. It's not surprising that artists are using Cell Fluids in their projects to add rivers, lakes and waterfalls in their renders in real time for a, for a small cost in the quality, which sometimes goes unnoticed or even considered to be part of the art style. Another option for rendering real-time water is Post Shed, which is another collection of water shaders that you can add to a plane to look like a river or a lake. It is very simple to use and you can easily change how deep the water looks. Foam is one of the hardest things to make in a render. You can't just use a particle system and a texture is not enough to capture the intricate detail in foam. The bubbles have to interact with each other and scatter, absorb and reflect light inside the form which is not easy to set up with a shader. But this is what the real form shader does. You can use the form for alcohol, soap and everything else you can imagine. When light hits glass, it creates caustics. This is true for glass and other objects that refract light including water. Cycles can render caustics but they are turned off by default because they can quadruple the render time of an image. This is a shame because caustics make renders look satisfying. This is why other artists came up with other ways of rendering caustics without adding to the render time. Shader Plus is the best add-on I have found for this and in fact it can be used to render caustics in both cycles and EV in real time. If you want real time and an easy way to direct the flow of water, try Delta Flow. You can paint the direction you want the water to take and the shader will update to reflect that. The add-on can create wet maps for rain, lava and more. Actex loved this water library for its extended library of water assets from fountains, ponds, basins and more. Their animation is looped and can easily be added into any project with a simple drag and drop. On top of that, you can get the ocean waterfront asset that comes with beach waves that simply look magnificent. Water comes in different forms and rain to me is the most interesting and hardest thing to make. When raindrops fall, they make splashes and water puddles. This can be hard to make in Blender but Bugger Rain is very good at it. 
You can have millions of particles and splashes before your computer even notices, thanks to how optimized this generator is. And finally, if you want to show condensation on objects, then this droplet generator is the best solution. The droplets can be animated and dissolve into others like you would expect in the real world. All the geometry is generated 100% procedurally, which enables great customization and performance. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more Blender, check out these previous tutorials I made for your viewing. Thank you.